electric vehicle sales are growing and as automakers launch new models, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. With these new models becoming more popular, more consumers are asking questions about safety. That's what we're highlighting in this video. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, publishes safety ratings for all vehicle types, including EVs. In this video, we will show you the current five safest electric cars according to the IIHS ratings. Some vehicles, like the 2019 Fiat 500e, don't have official IIHS ratings, even though their gas-powered counterparts do. In these cases, Given the different weights and architecture between gas vehicles and EVs, we've opted to keep them out. The IIHS has four possible ratings in each safety category. Good, acceptable, marginal, and poor. Each category's ratings are based on constantly evolving safety tests and include the small overlap crash test, moderate overlap crash test, side impact test, roof strength test, head restraint, seats, and headlight tests. While we do have the scores directly from the IIHS, some of the footage comes from the European New Car Assessment Programs, or Euro NCAP. We are showing the Euro NCAP footage in areas where the IIHS has not published its own crash test footage for these vehicles. So let's get started. Number five, the 2019 Chevrolet Bolt you're seeing in this video scored an acceptable rating in the 40 mile per hour small overlap IIHS crash test. It also scored a poor rating for its headlights. The rest of the ratings were listed as good by the IIHS. Entering production in 2017, the Chevrolet Bolt was recently updated and now has an EPA rating of 259 miles on a single charge. This is one of the few vehicles on this list that has the option for a level three rapid DC charging with the SAE combo DC system. Number four, the 2019 Nissan Leaf Plus. The new Nissan Leaf Plus seen in this Euro NCAP crash test video has a significantly improved score over its predecessor. It scored good in its moderate overlap front crash test, side impact test, and with its head restraint and seats test. However, the IIHS has not yet published ratings for small front overlap testing, roof strength, crash prevention technology, or headlights. The Nissan Leaf, which was introduced in Japan and the United States in December 2010, has sold more than 400,000 models worldwide since its introduction. According to Nissan, the Nissan Leaf Plus has a maximum range of 226 miles. Nissan announced a significant update to the Leaf's range, which will be unveiled at the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. Number three, the 2019 BMW i3. It scored a good rating on its small and moderate overlap crash tests, as well as side impact and roof strength tests. The i3 also scored an advanced rating for its front crash prevention technology, but its headlights have not been rated. The BMW i3 is unique on this list as it's the only EV featured that has an optional range extender. This is an option for a two-cylinder gas generator that can increase range on the BMW i3. This gas generator starts when the battery falls below 5%. According to BMW, the 2019 i3 has a 153 mile all EV range and up to a 200 mile range using the range extender. Number two, the 2019 Audi e-tron SUV. The Audi e-tron SUV scored one of the highest possible ratings available from the IIHS. It scored a top safety pick plus, which is to say it rated good on every evaluation and IIHS felt that the overall package was worthy of its absolute top score. There are a variety of vehicles known as the e-tron as Audi is using the term 
for its emerging EV range. The 2019 Audi e-tron SUV has an EPA rated range of 204 miles. Number one, the Tesla Model 3. Not only has the Tesla Model 3 been an absolute success for Tesla sales-wise, it's proven to be one of the safest vehicles ever tested by the IIHS. It achieved a top safety pick plus and was noted for being especially strong with its roof crush strength scores. The Tesla Model 3's safety ratings are applicable across the lineup from the base standard range model to the top of the line performance. We also have a unique bonus, the 2019 Hyundai Nexo hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. The Nexo is the only vehicle on this list that uses hydrogen as its primary source of energy in addition to a battery pack. While it's still considered an EV, the hydrogen system it uses sets it apart from other vehicles on this list. It's also currently only available for sale in California. Still, it did achieve an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus rating, with models built after June 2019 scoring a good rating on its headlights. Thanks for joining me. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan. Don't forget to go back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews, and more EV safety reviews.